Hello everyone and welcome to Van Tech Corner. In this video, we are going to configure a gas network and we are going to extend that gas network with a dumb AP. So we are going to use your main router as an OpenWRT router, set up the gas network and then connect another asset point or a dumb AP to one of the LAN gas port and then extend the gas network. As you can see in this videos, I have the Link WRT 1900 AC at my main router. The port LAN number one will configure as a guest port. So I'm connecting this router to my Xiaomi router. And actually I'm connecting to the LAN port of the Xiaomi router. So now I have another different network from my main LAN network, which is the guest network. Alright, so if you have been watching my channel, you know that previously I have set up a guest Wi-Fi for OpenWRT 21.02 as well as the other two tutorial for OpenWRT 19. So basically this tutorial is most likely the same with the guest LAN and this is how we're going to do it. So first of all, log into your Lucy page and then go to Network Interfaces. So right here, we are going to modify the BR LAN or the LAN bridge. And as you can see, it's on the device section. Go to the BR LAN, click configure. And right here, we need to remove the port number one from the bridge ports because we are going to use port LAN number one for the guest start. All right. So save and then save and apply. And right now, the port LAN number one will not include it in any of the network. So we are free to use this. So now let's go back to network interfaces and create a new interface. The name, let's put it guess LAN. And then the protocol, it will be static IP address. The device, it will be switch port one, LAN one. All right create interface. I'm going to give it a new IP subnet. So it will be 192.168.7.1 and the next mile is 255.255.255.0. Right, so right here on the advanced settings, I want to specify a different DNS server for my guest LAN because I don't want the devices in this guest network connect to my router DNS. So it would be a.a.a.a. .a 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 .a. This one is Google Publish DNS and then 1.1.1.1. Right, perfect. So we're going to go to the firewall setting. And previously we have set up a guest Wi Fi firewall zone. But we're going to specify a new one. So let's put this guest LAN firewall okay so something like that and then go to the DHCP server set up a DHCP server and we can just go with 150 so if you want to limit the number maybe you can put 120 so only 20 IP red leases for 12 hours perfect so now hit save and apply Alright, so we created the guest LAN and this is our interface and it should be up and running. So now let's go to the network and then firewall to configure the firewall. So this is the guest Wi-Fi firewall that we created in the previous video. And this is the new guest LAN firewall. So basically the configuration will be the same. So the input will be reject, the output is accept and the forward is reject. Alright, so allow forward to destination zone. This one we specify the one zone and the rest we just leave it there. Basically, you can just reuse the same guest Wi Fi firewall zone, but I want to create a new one so that you can see how we do it. And still on the traffic rules, we need to create the same. As uh, you can see, I have three rules created previously for the guest Wi-Fi and we are going to do the same for the guest LAN 
so click the add button right here and then right here I will put gas land the SCP then the protocol it is UDP so the short zone it will be gas land firewall and destination zone it will be device input and the pause it will be 67 and the SNE itself all right so let's double check it oh I'm sorry this is the destination port it will be 67 we need to put it right here and then save all right so let's have the checks IPv4 and IPv6 to uh, this device from guest land firewall port 67 accept perfect so now let's do the same for guest DNS so if you're using a public DNS then actually you don't need to do it but yeah let's configure it anyway to make sure we have a network connection so get LAN DNS and the protocol actually the DNS server is running on protocol TCP but I just go with both get LAN firewall so destination zone divide input and the destination port it will be 33 and actually itself all right perfect safe and I think basically that's all previously we have created the guest block all but I think we dominate it for this video so click save and apply so now I'm going to connect my LAN port number one which will configure as a guest LAN to my Xiaomi routers on the LAN port if you want that your second router for example this Xiaomi router to be running as an AP only then you don't need to bother about what type of IP address or what type of LAN IP address this Xiaomi router has however if you want to be able to reach the Xiaomi router either a management interface or something then you need to specify a LAN IP address for this Xiaomi router and now let's verify it on the phone so currently we are connected to the Xiaomi router and when we click on the information we can see that the IP address is 192.168.7.132 so it is one of the IP address inside the guest LAN so first of all let's try if we have an internet connection so I will open speed test and perfect we have the internet connection so let's run it all right so we're running at around 400 mbps for the guest wi-fi this is good so let me just stop this one and let's try if we can access the lucy page all right so the lucy page can be reached at 192.168.2.1 and let's check them out so as you can see we are still able to reach the lucy page so how about edit age let's verify it so i will open thomas and then 192.168.2.1 okay is the prompt for login hit ok so as you can see we can still connect to the main open rt browser the edit age or uc so we need to have a check on our firewall rule again all right so let's go to networks and then firewall and then go to the traffic rules now let's click the add buttons and create a new rule so it will be get lan block o the sort zones it is get lan the destination zone i will select divide input and then destination port any the action it will be reject actually we can just drop it so that's it click save and apply and then save and apply all right so as you can see from this setup 
we allow GSCP and DNS and we are going to block all other types of traffic to this device right so this is how we do it so let's try it again on my phone okay so we're connected to the Wi-Fi let me open the edit age okay we can still right so now you can see it is loading connecting connecting all the time so yeah the connection to the routers will block so yes I think it's working right now so let's try the local terminals and let me try to ping 192.168.2.1 all right well, we can still ping the routers LAN IP but let's try Lucy so go to Chrome and let me go to Google first and then go to 192.168.2.1 so the page is not reachable how about dot seven dot one so let's try it out so the page is not reachable anymore this is what we expected so you may ask me how about creating a guest wi-fi that attached to this get lan well this is very simple so just go to network wireless and then this is one of the OpenWRT guests that I created previously and basically we just need to enable this one and edit it so right here we need to change the network to let's say guest LAN and configure your password if you need and basically you done alright so this is very simple so this is all about guest network on OpenWRT and how you can expand your guest network with either ethernet cable or with a dumb ap switch or with a wireless connection so i hope you learned something new today and if there are any questions or comment feel free to leave it in the comment section thanks for watching and see you all in the next video bye bye